Oh my god, I just had a fucking herder moment. <laughs> Ah, uh, I was like, how do I pause the game during combat? There's a goddamn fucking pause option in the fucking combat slider. And I'm like, no, no, I can't go to the menu. I can't press escape. No, how do I pause? I'm getting raffle pwned. Pro tip, Grimmett, there's a pause option. But yeah, it was a false alarm. Rough, 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 rough. For fuck's sakes. Anyway, uh... God damn it. Let's keep going. Some people are probably still off getting snacks. I guess I can spend some time fucking investing skill points instead. Like I'd say, a sword faith maybe. That could be useful. Uh... Pick up some... Lucky shot, that could be useful too. And you... That Aurora thing didn't work out as much as I had hoped it would. But damn and Wrath could. Um, no, uh, Captain Walmart, I've taken like like a few five minute breaks. But that's pr also been because uh, YouTube, uh, in order to easily transfer these videos from Twitch to YouTube, I want to keep them under two hours. Otherwise, the quick transfer function doesn't work. So, hey, more treasure! More enemies! Holy shit, you have a lot of health, bro. Um, yeah, you have a lot of health. This is a true statement. Okie dokie. Can I flashbang you? That'd be really sweet if I could. Fucking haste option. That would be awesome. But I don't have one. Upsetting. Alright. Go ahead and readjust the guys there. Some Thunderstrike. Oh man, he is pissed. There we go. Go ahead and recover yourself. Alright. Slay. Heal. Ha ha ha. He's back. Go back to Thunderstrike. Those damage resistances, man. Um, uh, let's try a hack now. Right. Start recovering. And wrath this shit. Hi, Bommy. Thanks for coming out the pally, LOL. Alright, you little fuck. You can die now. There we go. Thanks for dying, bro. What goodies did we get? We got a... A better necklace of self-heal, which we are totally going to be putting on. And... A staff. Which we're going to be equipping. And... 
and I think that's it. Yep. Oh, I forgot to equip the Paladin's Heart, and, uh... No, 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 I wanted the Ghost Steel. Never mind. Dum de dum dum. Anybody else? I had to open my mouth. Alright, let's try Aurora. And go ahead and do that. And I think you should focus on. Yeah, Flashbang works for now. Sure. I'll keep her in front for the time being. No, I won't. Change my mind. Go back to Aurora. And wrap that shit. Yeah, Mary is less of a dick than he used to be. He's getting better. But he's still very much an asshole. Your mileage may vary. Ah, shit. Oh, Captain Walmart, we are... We are currently in... New Fucksville. Population, we are so fucking fucked right now. You don't even know, dude. We are completely and totally boned. The world has fucking gone to hell. Fucking cloud children have goddamn descended upon the fucking stratosphere, dude. It is crazy shit, man. We are fucked. New fucked fucked. It's the official term. No, Isabel's long gone. Isabel was passed off to some folks to watch over her. Cloud children? Yeah. You see you see those images in the background? You see that? That's a cloud child. Cloud children have been feasting upon the human remains in this completely fucked city. Yeah. Um, uh, see, um, this country, La Ref it's neighboring this other nation, Yegara, and they've been at like a political standoff for a while now. And apparently, from what we've learned so far, this whole nuke thing was framed to supposedly have been caused by the Yegara, but it's actually been caused by a third party. It's really not something I can immediately explain, it's something that you would have to fucking watch the previous videos to learn. Let's just say that currently shit is fucked. All right, save the game. Dragon's Gate. Oh, hey, a treasure chest. You know it's great whenever they give you a treasure chest before you even fucking progress, right? <laughs> hmm. Alrighty. Let's keep going. And we'll just go ahead and save again for the lulls. Oh. I guess I could check out their journals again. We are fucked. That's what he's reading right there. That is the journal of We Are Fucked by Mary the Cleric. We are fucked, 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 fucked. Charlotte, we are fucked. Fucked, fucked, fucked. And fucked. Captain Walmart, the time of our fucking has already occurred. It's actually long past. Fucking happened. <laughs> the end. <laughs> cool story, Grimoth. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep going. 
We have a boss fight upcoming. Is the crone going to return and have more invulnerability spheres to fuck me over? No. Oh my god. A fully grown cloud child. Don't make any sudden sounds or movements. We don't want to provoke it. So what you're trying to tell me is that it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. No cloud child has ever been seen below cloud level over a Lareftian. To my knowledge, no human has ever come this close to one and lived to tell the tale. It's just standing there, watching us. And it's blocking the gate. What does it want? What should we do? We should retreat. Slowly, before it decides that we're anything more than a curiosity. We aren't capable of fighting such a creature yet. So wait, that's it? The end? Okay, consider this like an alternate save path, guys. Alternate save path. What if... Dude. Aw, oh, damn it, Nick Lore. <laughs> so, the same thing we've done to everything else in our way. We kill it and we move on. I think we owe it to the people of Porto Vale to bring down at least one of these monsters before we leave their city. You know, that's what I was just thinking. Like, maybe we could, like, fucking circumvent it or some shit. I was going to try to fight it anyway, but still. Alright. If God himself wishes to abstain from punishing these foul creatures, we must show that we are unafraid to act in his absence. Not because it is easy, but because it is right. Oh, shit. Ha, 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 Fucking music! That is awesome! Aurora, can I poison this thing? Maybe I could flashbang it. Okay, let's pull out, pull out the fucking Ponzors. This fucking music track's as epic as fuck, guys. Holy shit! <laughs> well then. And the old man goes down, charged straight into a fucking whatever the fuck that was. Oh sh! Oh, what? What game? You te? No, he's re. What? What? <laughs> he's recharging everything. Are you serious? Oh, fuck you! Okay, to be fair, he is back on the ground now. This is true, he's actually back on the ground. So maybe that's different. He was originally just floating all the time. I think. Actually, don't know. Maybe he wasn't. I'm just making shit up. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh, man. Can I actually poison this thing? I'll have to check. Quit fucking-
fucking hitting him with a goddamn rock, you asshole. LOL rock. LOL rock. No, can't poison him. He's not being poisoned. What the fuck? thing <laughs> are you serious it's gonna take me a long time to kill him in for the long haul, motherfuckers. Of that there is no doubt. God damn it, quit hitting me with that shit. Alright, here he goes fucking recharging himself again. Now wouldn't it be great if he had like a fucking way to heal himself? Ethereal attacks, that wouldn't do me any good. He has like minus 62% resistance. That's... Wow, Hazusio. If you beat the entire thing, I'll consider do- Well, I finished considering and you suck. That's stupid. I'm- that's actually so stupid I'm actually going to give you a timeout for that. I'll consider filleting you if you donate $150 to me. For fuck's sakes. I'm gonna keep playing until I get tired of playing, then I'm gonna stop playing. The fuck? Fuck you, asshole. I'll be with you in a goddamn minute. Apparently the smoke screen's not as being not being as effective as I would have liked. Okay. Let's fucking flashbang this shit then. Damn it. Mauritius, really? You brought him down now? Oh, you are fucking with me, game. God damn you. Fuck, 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 fuck. There went a fucking... That's my own stupid fault. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Pay more attention, Grimoth. Stupid, 
stupid, stupid, stupid. Dodge that shit, bitch! <laughs> oh, god damn it, Mary's down. With a fucking rock, asshole. I said, quit hitting me with a fucking rock. This is some bullshit. This is some fucking bullshit. Some fucking bullshit. I'm going to charge up the old man. Oh, I should have cast, um... I should have cast Blessing on him before I did that. Okay. Hail Mary. I need a Hail Mary. Shit. I was really hoping to fucking nail him. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes, there we go. Fuck him up. Yes! That was beautiful! All right. I gotta hit him like that three more times. <laughs> Fucking heal up. Heal up. All right. Yeah, I'll see what I can do about that blessing. <laughs> fucking thing is so goddamn creepy. So fucking creepy. Quit doing that shit! That shit hurts! Oh goddamn, he fucking jumped and fucking. Oh no. Fuck you! We're doing that shit! <laughs> oh, great. You came back just in time for the fucking. Good job, man. Ow. I need Mary back. I fucking need Mary back. Heal this team, motherfucker. Oh shit. God damn this game. Quit fucking jumping.
Oh, I meant the two slay, not hack. Duh, me. Is this thing actually kicking my ass even harder now that it's taking health damage? I'm like fucking worried. Holy fuck! His multiplier is so high! Go down, damage multiplier! Go down! Oh, thank god. Fuck you! Can't even do anything. I'm completely paralyzed by trying to heal myself all the time. I guess pause, maybe? Try to give the old man an opportunity, a chance to recover here? Quit that shit! L-O-L-O-L-O-L-O-L Lightning, 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 lightning Okay Slay Oh, fuck. It's getting frustrating. I have to get all of its shields down before I can hurt it. I can't get its shield down unless my party gets its shit together so I can actually take it down so I can actually deal health damage to it. So no, I'm not hurting it right now. This is basically me trading blows. Did you really decide that now- You motherfucker! Oh shit, he's charging me! Time to fly! Oh, and Mary was back? Let's fucking kill him too! Fucking game is trolling me. really need Mary in order to heal Charlotte. I gotta have him. Ah, fucking hell, he dodged my hit. Quit doing that shit. I'm not flashbanging. The smoke screen's what's helping me dodge all the shit, in theory. Hello, 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 hello. <sighs> oh shit, he's almost dead. LOL, Mary came back, time to fuck him. I think Aurora helps only a little bit, Ace Moot. Like, uh, I've tried it out, but this fucking magical attack deals so much damage that it almost seems pointless to do. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, load it up again, though. And it hopes that it actually does a fucking damn. Alright. Oh shit, he dodged. Don't be dodging my shit now, game. Alright. Slay. Pause. A 
Okay, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Go back to smokescreen. Bless him. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Shit's okay. Shit's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, keep healing. Alright. Time for you to charge. Time for you to slay, but pause. Yeah, Larian, no shit. Yes, yes, you took flight. Good job. There we go. Fuck your couch. Jeez! 1400 damage? <laughs> As my motherfucking D! about fucking goddamn yanked my goddamn headset off my head. I, I pulled back from my desk so hard. Oh, that actually hurt my face. <sighs> Give me that fucking save point right the fuck now. <laughs> fucking save this shit. <laughs> So, Nick Laura, I guess you gotta tell me now, if... Was there a way to actually circumvent him? Or did we have to fight him right there? Oh, okay, so it was a mandatory fight. Alright. Oh, shit. I think in the process of my yank, I actually may have damaged my headset there. It fits looser on my head than it used to. Oh, well. It just gives you the option. So, basically, the game's generous enough to say, hey, if you didn't save, or if you want to fight some more to train, you can, but it's just all... It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit! <laughs> man. <laughs> Old man, you are you are vastly redeeming the fucking my 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 hatred of old people. That's all I got to say, man. You're doing a good job. You are doing a good fucking job. That fucking smoke screen there. Oh man. I do like these boss fights though. These boss fights are very good puzzles. Which is what boss fights end up tending to be in uh at least good boss fights end up tending to be in RPGs. It's just a struggle to try and solve the shit. Alright, we are out of here. Oh, 
My god. What has happened to the city? This is surely our country's darkest hour. Your report, Captain. What can you tell us? I don't know if I can find words to do justice to the scale of the disaster, parliamentarians. We know so little at this stage. Three days ago, an explosion was reported within the city limits and a towering pillar of flame rose up through the clouds. Then the temperature began to plummet, ice arced along the estuary. Dark crimson clouds accumulated overhead, snow began to fall, and the cloud children descended for their migration routes to feed. God help us all. The Yegarans have just committed the worst atrocity the Medea has ever seen, and we let them do it. This is the price we pay for losing our grip on the nation's security. Our troop numbers have been depleted, our borders left open, citizens allowed to walk our streets unrestricted and unwatched. If our governors had only given more attention to the loyalty bill. Now is not the time for politics, Henley, especially in the presence of our governors. We don't know that the Yegarans are responsible yet. I'm afraid we do, Camilla. Camilla? Ca Camilla. We received intelligence detailing the, their intentions from across the border only a few days ago, but it was too late to stop the attacks on Porto Vale and Kelstarin. The current Yegar regime clearly intends to wage war without bounds. I would advise against inaction, honorable leaders, that the people will demand retribution for this atro atrocity. Indeed, war may be upon us whether we seek it or not, and our independence is at stake. Who else other than the Yegarans has an alchemical core capable of de developing such a terrible weapon? They have made many attacks upon our great nation and its history. This can only be the sinister prelude to another. Time is short, and they may already be marching their armies across the border zone. No, we can't speak like this. We must open dialogue with the Agarans. It isn't so long since the Malamara peace accords broke down. We still have channels through which to approach them. We must talk. Negotiate. This is no time for ch- Oh shit! This is no time for Shadow Woman! This is war! The likes of which Medea has never before seen! The destruction of Porto Vale is a cowardly first strike! We have been caught off guard because we have grown weak and complacent! If our nation is to survive, we must strike back! We need instruction from the Rakari. We need it now before it's too late. Otherwise, we must organize the defense of the Union ourselves. We are considering our response. I don't even know it. That's the first time a fucking Rikari has spoken in this goddamn game. We are considering our response to the crisis, Parliamentarian. Find peace for now. You will be patient as you wait for our instructions. I will be patient, yes. Forgive me, wise governors. Forgive me, wise governors. I don't know what came over me. Captain, honored guests, we found survivors from the very center of the city fleeing down Armistice Road. We thought you might wish to speak with them directly. Honored representatives, exalted Rikari, we are at your service. Mauritius, Charlotte, you must kneel. These people are the highest authority in all the Reftian. Even the Rikari have made an appearance. You must show them your respect. Use my Protoss voice. You must construct additional pylons. You will take our advice under advisement because it is advice. Parliamentarian. I kneel only before the Lord God. No mortal force upon Medea may claim dominion over me. Are you f- Yet again, I am uh, I am happy that I chose him as the as character one. Oh man, Mauritius has been worth it every step of the way. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you see these things? They're the motherfucking Rikari. I don't know all of what they do in this world, but everyone else shows them respect. So maybe you fucking should too. I'm just saying. <laughs> you would do well to serve your religion as well as you claim. 
Mauritius Johann Weiss. Your absence from Tawny Edge has been noted. Uh, what? No, I've merely been delayed! How could you possibly know about that? He's a motherfucking Rikari! These things are transparent to us, as is your destination. We know through you, and your independence will serve the greater peace. Stand and address the parliamentarians. What word do you bring them from inside the city? The only news we have is bad. Porto Vale lies in ruins, and the only other people we encountered on its streets seem to have been transformed into shambling monsters. We were able to fight our way out, but not without great difficulty. The city is overrun with horrors, and the cloud children there appear to be spawning. It is as we feared, then. The city is lost. Flatten it with artillery, and drive the cloud children away. Wait, we survived for days by sheltering in a bunker. There may be more like us still hiding in the ruins. If you shell the city, you'll kill them. Regrettable, but more will die if we allow the cloud children to gain a foothold on our warm ground. These creatures are dangerous. We should have warred against them from the beginning instead of tolerating their presence. Representatives, excuse us. We are receiving reports of massive Yagaran troop deployments along the border zone. This should not be. Responses must be considered. We leave to mitigate. Parliamentarians, you should return to survey what remains of Kelsterin in our absence. Trust in our wisdom. Well, we'll fire. We may have killed one of them, but since they appear to be breeding... This is absurd! We can't afford to waste any more time watching this disaster unfold. Precious hours are being lost whilst we wait for the Rikari to perform their shadowy consultations. Do not worry, parliamentarians. As per emergency doctrine, all the forces of our great army our great army can muster are already being assembled in the west to counter the threat from Yegara. God willing, their bravery will secure them victory. The courage of our soldiers is beyond doubt, Captain, but I fear they're being pushed out into the unknown as are we all. The Agarans have the initiative, Al, and we are at their mercy. Someone must raise the possibility of a settlement. If things go badly in the coming weeks, what overtures will we make to them? What price are we willing to pay to secure peace? Oh my god, you are like the fucking Warhawk, dude. You're, you're one of the assholes who's responsible for the War of 1812, aren't you? Great Britain! Fuck them! We'll fucking take him on! Give me a goddamn army! I'll go to Canada and kill those motherfucking Brits myself! Fuck the English! Fuck the Redcoats! America, motherfucker! Ah! And then Britain just fucking sails across the fucking Atlanta Ocean. Dub, 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 dub. Oh! There's your new capital! Washington, D.C., LOL! Here's a torch, motherfucker! <laughs> and the Warhawk's too busy getting his fucking ass killed in Canada. God damn it, motherfucking Britons! <laughs> General MacArthur didn't want to fucking just nuke North Korea. He wanted to fucking nuke China. <laughs> wanted to clear out all them communist sons of bitches. Every single motherfucking one. <laughs> But yeah, Parliamentarian Henley here is fucking reminding me of the goddamn Warhawk. <gasps> and he is so totally firing his laser. He even called that female Parliamentarian woman. That's some serious shit. Solemn greetings, fellow Parliamentarians. I must apologize profusely for my lateness. Oh shit, it's Batista! My carriage was held up by the sheer number of refugees on the road to Tolksworth. What discussion have I missed? Precious little. Our governors came and watched and left. Their only action was to order the destruction of one of our great cities, and now they leave to consider. I'm sorry to hear that. Their flight is hardly surprising. When have they ever shown compassion towards our people? I would not expect them to start now. We are like cattle to them. I'll tell you why they left, parliamentarians. They are afraid. They're finally losing their iron grip on the people, and their command of the situation they have no response to give. 
Your blatant disrespect for our governor shames us all, Batista. Now more than ever, we need to wait calmly for their guidance. You should keep your ridiculous conspiracy theories to yourself and your friends. Poor, poor Kamala. They play you like a fiddle. They play us all. If you spent as much time away from Parliament as I do, allowed your own thoughts to flourish, you would see just how helpless we are. What do you care for Loreftian's future, Batista? I'm surprised you even left Amara to come and see the devastation for yourself. This conflict is unlikely to ever reach your corner of the Union. Suffering and injustice concerns us all. I am not my father, Price. I spend so much time absent from the Parliament of Stars, because I know that whether I attend or not, my voice counts for nothing, so long as the current state is upheld. But this is our chance as a Parliament to make our own decisions for our people. Indeed, if we do not, we may not exist as a Parliament for much longer by the time the Yegarans are through with us. Batiste may be right. We cannot afford to wait for their response. The Rakari watch over us from a lofty height. They have guided us with wise hands for so long. But I fear that at such a distance, this crisis is moving too fast for them to handle. It is humans who are suffering down here. We must act to protect our people. This is the new face of war, parliamentarians, and I fear that we have not yet seen the worst of it. We must do whatever is necessary to ensure that the Union survives the coming trials. <clears throat> What do we do now? They seem to have made up their minds. We head south, like Jacques said, and make our way to the Institute for Higher Learning. Let us pray that he's telling the truth this time. Well, anything this way? Cannons? You guys have fun shelling the city. Um, see you later. I still don't know how the three of you managed to get out of the city center alive so long after the attack. The only other survivors are those who fled the suburbs quickly. I was among them. We were stacking crates in a dockside bunker when the attack came. We sheltered there for several days before attempting our escape. There's nothing extraordinary about it. Really? You don't look much like laborers, especially the guy in his mid-70s. And you'd certainly need to be skilled to fight your way out of that hell. Yes, you were most fortunate indeed would have perished along with a third of the city's population if you hadn't been sheltering when the Yegar had struck. Please forgive my suspicion. At the moment, there is little more for us to do except point fingers. This will go down in Lorefti's history as our most dreadful day, but we even have a history a year from now. Rikari have our blah 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 blah. Shit's been destroyed. We're fucked. And sir, your coach awaits. We're still fucked, but it still awaits. Bye! Have fun being fucked, lol. That's actually true, Legato. I heard your plea for sanity at the meeting. It was admirable. Admirable but useless. What good can I do? I'm a woman. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> they even called me a woman. <laughs> oh, I'm tired and... Oh, that was terrible. Disaster is great. We are fucked. Whoever destroyed Porto Vale doesn't look like they want to talk. Sometimes you have no choice but to fight. We're fucked. I agree, we're fucked. Look at my face, we are totally fucked. I'm trying to keep us calmed down, so there's a possibility we might not be fucked after all. But no, we're totally fucked, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. <sighs> She has mixed parentage. It's a shame. No one cares about her. She's a hybrid, like a half-elf. And no one cares about those either. God damn it! I want to kill everyone! Why won't they let me kill everyone? Those sons of bitches! We're not gonna have a country anymore! I want to kill everyone! I have the power to do it! Have you seen my energy level? I can shoot fucking laser beams! I'll show you! You want me to show you, motherfucker? I'll set that goddamn tree on fire! <sighs> Forget it. It's useless. The tree never did anything to anyone anyway. <laughs> I didn't even read any of that. <laughs> That's bad. Did I get a good gist of what that was just said? <laughs> I hope I did. <laughs> Dishonest Pete. Oh, oh, this sounds great. 
Oh, hi, governors. When I saw such a handsome band of adventurers marching up Armistice Road, I just knew you'd be chopped. chopped. Oh, fuck, fuck. Let me try that again. I just knew you'd be stopping by Pete. Makes a certain class customer to appreciate my merchandise. Now, if I know you, you're thinking, hang on, what is this charming fellow trying to sell us? Instead, you ask yourselves a quicker question. What is this charming fellow not trying to sell us? You see something you like around here? Pete can have it for you so long as the initial investment compensates for the willing... Willness, williness, wiliness of the owner. The world is the world is my stall. These goods wouldn't be stolen, would they? Goodness me, governor! Stolen? What ever gave you that idea? Well, the sign does say dishonest, Pete. There is only one kind of customer that's going to attract. Exactly, and here you are. Now, governors, can we stop quibbling about matters of legality and talk money? Wait a minute, is that my prayer book over there? Ah, oh, so it is! Sorry, it's a bad habit I've got there. I took the liberty of freeing it from your back pocket. Well, you're talking to the important gentleman. Here, you can have it back as a gesture of goodwill. Shame upon you, Pete. If you do not mend your ways now, the good Lord will take payment for each and every item here when you reach the gates of heaven. You too, check your belongings. He stole it from Mauritius's frock, man. You look awfully familiar, Dishonest Pete. Have I seen you somewhere before? You might have. There's a little Pete in every shady alleyway and every rotten dive you might come across. Dishonest Pete knows no boundaries. He travels wherever demand is high and supplies. No global prince of command is what I am. Alright, alright, we get the idea. Just show us what you got and keep your hands where I can see them. So what you got here, Dishonest Pete? You got a bunch of stuff that I could give to the old man, but I'm not sure I want to give any of that shit to the old man on account of, uh... Him picking up this shit. Actually, who the fuck am I getting? That's better. Diamond plate? Oh, no. Plus 20 to slay, though. And plus 42 to recover? I might need to keep that shit. Let's sell... I can't even sell all these things. What's the most valuable ones? That and that. Hmm. Base damage 13, base damage 10, that's an obvious upgrade. I don't think that's an upgrade, especially since this sword gives him plus 280 health. Ah, uh, maybe it is. How much is plus 280 health worth? One hit? Two hits? Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the sword then in exchange for sword that deals more damage. And go ahead and sell the sword. Oh shit, I accidentally fucking... Oh god damn it. I didn't mean to do that to the window. I fucking accidentally resized it. Oh shit. No, it's permanently ruined. The size, it's all over. I think that's, I that's gonna have to be close enough. <laughs> that's gonna fucking bother me to the end of the goddamn fucking solar system. Probably not to the end of the solar system. It's still the same resolution, so we're going with it. Uh... The shield.
gold, I might get that. Especially since I bought a bad shield last time. No, I'll keep this one. Let's go! Uh, I might buy that. Nah, I'm done. I said I'm done. Bye, Dishonest Pete. Try not to steal from me in the future, please. Oh, the three survivors from the center of town. You're very lucky to be alive. Hi, I'm Batista. Good job. Oh, yeah, the ward for keepers. Yeah, that was me. Ha 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 ha. Look at me. I look so fucking amused. Shit happens. You still want the money? Because, I mean, I guess I could really give it to you if you want to, but you kind of had to deal with the keepers first. Oh, hey, wait a minute, I get why you were asking now. You stepped there to save that girl in the blue feather forest. What are the odds? It's fate. And you met Shala, too. Oh, hey. The lady in the white armor? Yes, we helped her save Isabel. She looks a lot like her sister, doesn't she? It seems blessing comes in threes. She looks a little abrupt, as you might have noticed, but do please excuse her. Her heart is in the right place, but her ded dedication is unquestionable. My prince, you must come. There's a report of a contact heading north from Tolksworth, and Julius says that we must move quickly. Constituents, my thanks. Yeah, Nick Laura figured that the, the, the Cloud Chai was pretty much serious fucking business. Yup. He had a shitty childhood. Really shitty childhood. It kind of sucked. Poor boy. I agree with you. Let's go. Chapter 6. On Top of the World. Little Hampton. Big Dreams. <laughs> oh, hey! He actually has his armor off! What do you know? Every morning this gets a little harder. How much longer can I keep living like this? My body has been kinder to me than I deserve, but it can only serve for so long. These bothersome feet kept me up for half the night with their aching and throbbing. They've been this way for two months now and show no sign of improvement. It doesn't help that I'm the fucking tank of this party and get my ass beaten every single fucking time. Never mind, I suppose I must add them to an ever-growing list of ailments to endure. Listen to yourself, you old few fool. There are so many your age who would envy this hell. So many friends that have never made it this far. Arthur Garhain. Ethan Tranmere, Jacob Hargreaves, and now, perhaps, dear old Percy. I can see them standing at the Chancellor's coronation as if it were only yesterday. A resplendent wall of armor glittering in the sun, effortlessly carrying the hopes of a nation on our shoulders. We were all so young and so full of hope back then. There were blue blossoms in the wind, and a young girl in the crowd surprised Hargreaves with a wreath of flowers and a kiss. But I can't for the life of me recall what day of the week it was or who gave the main speech. It's funny what you remember and what you forget. Speaking of forgetting, good grief, is that the time? I was meant to meet the others for breakfast half an hour ago. I must get downstairs. Ooh. Morning already? For a moment, I fully forgot where I was. I would have liked to forget for a while longer. I had an awful restless dream last night, but it wasn't half as peculiar as the reality that preceded it. I just wake up, or just fall asleep. Why am I here? I'm no hero. I'm just in the wrong place at the right time. The little girl inside me wants to crawl back into bed and close her eyes until this all goes away. But if I've learned anything from this wasted youth of mine... It is that you can't rely on other people to fix the problems you choose to run from. 
so I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Such seems to be the story of my life. Nothing that I've done so far has gone according to plan. I might as well keep on improvising. Dear Lord, it's been over a day now since I've spoken with you at length. I apologize for my lateness, but, as you know, I have been otherwise occupied by increasingly extraordinary events. I am out of my depth, and an unfamiliar but gentle company. Please bless Charlotte and Denevere, and grant us safe passage on our journey. Charlotte may not share my faith or my morals, but when these trials found us, she did not hesitate to stand and meet them. That is more than I could say for myself. Please forgive me for the frailties that I suffer. Though my heart and soul are dedicated to your service, I am only human, and it is through my struggle against my failings that I define myself. There were moments this past week when my faith has faltered. We need your love now more than ever. I am seeing so little, and it is difficult. But I believe in reason and in cause. Without your love, there could be none. I will hold true to what I know in my heart to be right, because without that, I am nothing. I must confess that I have said harsh words to my companions. I try not to mean them, but you know my temper is poor. I shall try to think before I speak. <laughs> I can't promise anything. I also have this dull ache in my shoulder, which is becoming quite troublesome. If you could give it some minor attention, I would be most grateful. Eternal peace. Good morning, old man. Sorry I'm late. I had trouble getting out of bed. It's all right. I woke late myself. No harm has been done. I think we all needed the rest. That fantastic meal last night, too. This place does the best home roast that I've ever tasted. Where is Mary? Don't worry. I'm up. No, I can't say that I'm awake yet. What are we doing here again? The plan is to scale the mountain before nightfall. It won't be easy, but we can manage it. The Institute is located near the summit. Heaven knows why they chose such a remote location. That's where we're headed. I saw the mountain from my window, old man. It looks very tall and very cold. Even at this distance. Are you sure we can scale it in one day? No, Mary, I'm not. We can't afford to spend the night on the slopes. I fear it'll be too cold and too perilous without the sun above us. So we're climbing that mountain by nightfall? Or not at all. Have you two noticed how quiet it is around here? The people seem so nervous. They look away quickly when you meet their gaze. I haven't asked, but I'm sure something must be wrong. I've noticed it too, Charlotte. I wouldn't say it was an unwelcome feeling, but I certainly think they'd rather we weren't here. They almost act as if they're guilty of something. Well, it's not our problem. Whatever it is, we're just passing through. The sooner the better. Indeed. Grab some food and let's get going. We have a long day ahead of us. Actually, on second thought, Mary, you're a terrible judge of food. Charlotte, why don't you grab the food? The Last Tulip Guest House. Twelve credits per person. dum de dum dum Meredith says he came crashing in through the upstairs window in a cloud of smoke. Oh, that's not really a good voice. Do I go back to my... Hey! <clears throat> oh, god damn, I can't even do that voice anymore. My throat's too hoarse right now. Oh, oh that hurt to even attempt that. <laughs> I think I'm just going to read her normally. I'm actually not going to read her at all. Fuck it. Torrent leapt from the bed and rushed him with a sword. Shit happened. You didn't crack some shit. Fucking shit happened. Lord preserve us! Shit happened! We want less shit to happen! Please God help us from this shit. Amen. Goodness, that's an impressive looking break. It must have taken a lot of force to do that. What's going on here? 
Ah, uh, it's nothing. Oh, hey, XSI. Something of consequence of strangers. Trouble with the... Trouble with the... Oh, man, my fucking vision's getting blurry now, too. The chill splinters. At the break of autumn, they often wander down from the main to cause trouble. I see. They're quite the little vandals, aren't they? I didn't realize they could climb so high. No wonder you're worried. They're nothing we can't handle. You three came in on the Vale Road, didn't you? You must tell us what's happening up there. We've heard nothing for days. Even the newsprints of late. No one pays us mountain folk any attention until they need something for us. It's the tax office in spring, and mark my words, the situation's as bad as Jeb says he's heard. There'll be a draftsman from the army round soon enough. My husband was tra trading in Glen Dinoth last week, and he should have been back home by now. Please, tell us what you've heard. Um, well... The Cloud Children have descended from the skies and consumed the flesh of humanity after Porto Vale was nuked and turned into a fucking nuclear winter wonderland. Uh, yeah. And it's entirely possible that Yegar is mounting a full frontal attack upon us to completely crush the Lareftian nation. How does that make you feel? I'm sorry, but we don't know much more than you folk. The situation appears bleak, but Glendanoth is in no immediate danger. The roads are very busy, though, so your husband is bound to be delayed. In such a time, it's mighty strange to see folks as heavily armed as yourselves sheltering in our humble little village when so much would be happening out to the west. Just what are you doing here? We're looking to scale the mountain and visit the Institute. You good people wouldn't be able to advise us on the best route up, would you? The mountain? No, you're fucked. Ha 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 Lol. Watch your tongue! Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, Ricari, blah, blah, count, blah, blah, superstition. It's all probably true, and you guys are going to have to fight it all. LOL, good luck. It's going to be harder than the cloud child. You're totally screwed. Better turn back now while you still can. LOL. Thank you. We... Just go away. <laughs> hey, you! There. You're the three looking to climb Shadowbane, yes? Wow. You had pretty good hearing from... 20 yards. Actually, that's, that's probably like 5 feet. Because we learned in the fucking beginning of the game... That Mauritius found that one dead dude, like, 20 feet down the road. So, whatever. That's right, why do you ask? Because your climb will eventually see you crossing paths with the Count one way or another. The slopes are his now, and he won't take kindly to trespassers, because you look capable of doing what needs to be done. We, the town, have a favor to ask of you. None of the others will dare talk about the outsiders are too frightened of the Count, of each other, and what they've done. I don't believe in murder. That's why I had no part in this originally, and why I feel free to speak to you here. But what's needed now isn't murder, but mercy. Uh, what? Can you see that ruined blackened manor up on the mountainside? That's Castle Kristoff. Kristoff? Kristoff Romulod? Shit, he's still alive? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gonna bring up his fucking emotionally tortured shit about fucking a Nazca and everything, dude. No, no, say it isn't so, Leonard Pet Petrarch. No, no, not Kristoff. God damn it. <laughs> you see, Count Kristoff was a harsh man. He gave little love and received little in return. To the abyss with thee! That's right, one cooped up, too. <laughs> in the winter of 728, word reached us that he was planning to sell the, li the land upon which the town is built and strip the valley for mining. The original lease was made to a distant ancestor of Kristoff, a kind of man who wouldn't have dreamed of selling the earth out from beneath the feet of his tenants and leaving thousands homeless. 
There was panic in the town, anger and despair, and from it something dark was born, something that now haunts more than just our dreams. One bitterly cold and winter night in the time before the light, we played some Dragon Force, LOL. And we fucking burned his shit while rocking out, motherfucker. Don't judge me. Lady Kristoff was the last to die, and it was good. They never did find her body because I ate it. Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> I know. I make no judgment, though, so don't judge me either. Everyone did it, though. Now the government owns the land, LOL. Until now, superstitious fools used to say they heard Lady Kristoff wailing on the high winds late at night. Now something more tangible, more dangerous strikes our village. Her husband has returned. The Count sweeps down from the mountain at night to attack the town. He's killed eight so far, maimed twenty, and injured or scared witness many more. We cannot look to any official authority for help. I suspect that the beast sleeps during the day and the ruins. Blah, blah, blah. Could you help us? Uh, you're asking us to risk our lives to cover this town's crime for what these people have done? Perhaps they deserve such a fate. Uh, it was a wicked act. Force any man into a corner as the Count did, and he is capable of terrible things. If you think not of them, then please think instead of the children, who do not deserve to suffer for the sins of their parents. Either way, you may have little choice if you want to reach the Institute, LOL. You're fucked. <laughs> this is repugnant. I refuse to be pucked. fucked. Can you not see I'm a man of the cloth? The staff attached to my back? My fucking spectacles? Look, asshole. Your spectacles aren't gonna fucking save you from a goddamn vampire. We shall see about that. That is all I ask. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Hello, lady. If you'll give me the... F oh. Oh. If you'll give me the favor of a moment's note attention, we have a wide range of adventures equipment for sale, from swords to blessed rings. Please, there's not many strangers who stay long in Little Hampton, so your service would do me much good. Okay, lady, um, I'll service you if you know what I mean, LOL. What you got here for me, bitch? You got trick plus 60. I don't think so. Base damage plus 14 on that staff. Base damage plus nine. I actually want that. Shut up and take my money! And... And... Ooh! 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 It's been a long time since we updated our scroll, man. Our scroll mans are scroll mans. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I choose the scroll. And you can have this. Nah, nah. Another party heal. Nah. Nah, nah. I think I'll buy that and give that to Charlotte. And we'll sell. Let's continue. Hey, save point. Can you save me from more exposition blocks, k -Lol? Oh my god, it's people who look like me except without the whites at the back. Mauritius Johann Weiss. We have been dispatched by urgent orders from the Sacred Order to bring you home. Please, let's not make this any more difficult than it needs to be. What is this? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about, brothers. This must surely be some sort of mistake. I wasn't expecting any kind of inquisition. 
Please, Mauritius, do not insult us by playing us for fools. You know full well while we're here, as do the people of Tawny Edge. They have been without a pastor for almost a month now. A, a month? You told us you were only a few days late, Mauritius. Goodness, has it really been that long? I might have lost track of the time a little. More likely you stopped counting, brother. We have been following your erratic trail for some time now. Until recently, those were the movements of a man evading his responsibilities. Are you afraid of something, brother? Uh... Afraid? No, but I knew that I had passed the point of no return, that I could not come back. It's all right, brother. It's never too late to receive the loving embrace of the Inquisition. <laughs> Good joke. You were unable to help yourself then. We are here now to assist. Everything is going to be all right. You're not alone anymore. The Inquisition will attend to your failings. My failings? The only failure here was my assignment as pastor to that backwards dust bowl. I took one look at it, turned back round, and walked away. I'm no preacher. Try as I might, I can never be a man of the people. It cannot be God's will that my place be out there. I should have been left with my books. You admit you have been questioning the wisdom of the sacred office, Mauritius? They who are ordained by the Lord God himself and who serve with his blessing? Do you accuse them? is to accuse him. No, it isn't. Those who staff the sacred office are as human as, and fallible as you or I. Just as a good book says, all men are. I have every right to question them. I am late in my years, having given the best of them in service to the church and the God that I love. The library was my life. I was happy there at Preston amongst the books and the scrolls. They only moved me, despite me. Without those, I do not know what my purpose in life is. But I know that it isn't to preach. I'm not a people person. Truth be told, I don't even like most people. You may find this hard to believe. I have found relief from my uncertainty out here with my staff in my hand, fighting against adversity. I realize now that I can make a difference. This may be my calling. My calling. I must follow it. We do not have the luxury of choosing our calling, Mauritius. It chooses us. The pursuit of personal happiness is secondary to your duty to God the poor souls we are here to save. You took the same vows as us, and you know that. Life is a struggle to better ourselves against hardship, and you clearly have much room to approve. Your errant behavior indicates a loss of faith. Would that be a correct assumption? I have become aware of some uncertainties. I have begun to consider some unanswered questions. I saw firsthand the devastation of Porto Vale, and I have had difficulty reconciling that image the callous god that it presents me with the loving god I knew until now. Do not worry, brother. We in the Inquisition are trained to deal with these problems. Do not be too hard on yourself. A new great war is coming, and its horrors will test the fate, faith of a great many of God's people. We have an opportunity to consolidate the importance of the Church amongst the Lef Lorefti's people, to bring so many that have forgotten God back to knowing him may be the only way to save our nation from the barbarity that falls now upon it. We also stand to lose a great deal. We cannot afford signs of weakness, indecision, or heresy. How can we expect the people to embrace God's love when we do not know, fully know it ourselves? Do you see what I mean, brother? I do, yes. I have, I have strayed, and I am no longer fit to serve our dear church in my current state. Good. Admission is the first step towards repentance and correction. We need you to come with us, Mar Mauritius. A man of the cloth in your condition cannot be seen on the streets. He will take you home. No, I cannot go with you. Not now. I beg your pardon, brother? He said he's not going. If I'm familiar with the law in this particular case, I just happen to be for personal reasons... Unless you two are members of the Inspectorate or acting on a parliamentary decree, Mauritius doesn't have to go anywhere with you. What's wrong, Mauritius? Does this poorly dressed woman speak for you now? Yes, she does. I cannot go with you. 
I told you I'd found my calling and I meant it. I have more important business to take care of here, in the mountains. More important than God's will, brother? Because that is what you are defying with this dangerously heretical behavior. Think carefully now. How dare you claim to know God's will? You don't understand it any more than I do. All that you're following here is a self-perpetuating bureaucracy, and I have no reason to surrender myself to you. I cannot blame you. I have fallen fully to the same delusions of self-importance myself. I have work to do here. Work that God himself, and whatever wisdom he has, has decided to leave to us. I cannot ignore it. If you are here for my priesthood, then you can take it. But you cannot take me. I have a mission now, as do my colleagues. You can let us pass, or you shall be moved by us. Are you in freely threatening an inquisitor? That is grounds for incarceration in itself. The rot has set deeper than we had imagined. Indeed, brother. It pains the soul to see how easily our weak-minded fellows are led astray. To find the Inquisition in broad daylight cannot be allowed to pass. Stand aside, please, all of you. Mauritius cannot escape the responsibilities that his robe carries so easily. In spite of his lapses, he remains a priest, and we are his family. We must take him into custody for his own well-being. Come, now, there's no need for this. We understand your concerns. We want to resolve this matter peacefully, but we're quite prepared to defend ourselves. The lives of a great many people may be at stake here. Oh, shit. You got the old man involved, motherfuckers. What our lives have not lived morally. We are well trained in combat. Grim will be the judgment that you receive from the Lord for striking his servants in the midst of their most important business. I'm prepared to meet with it when it comes. We cannot both be in God's grace, so let us put our favor to the test. Oh my god. I'm so glad there's a fucking skip button, because if I fucking die, that is a fucking mouthful of dialogue to go through. Okay! So we're fighting Inquisitors! That's great! Fucking Inquisition has come for us, bitches! Oh, man. So we have Inquisitor Thanes and Inquisitor Serenuf. Whew. And it's going to be a fucking party. All right, concussive seems to be the way to go here. Mauritius, why are you out in front, bro? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and do Aurora. Flashbang, and hack these motherfuckers. Oh shit, they did that shit to me. Well, fuck you. Fucking Inquisition's about to get Raffle Pwn here, goddammit. I'll fucking show you, I'll damn your ass myself. Bitch tits. Who the fuck do you think you're dealing with? You must not know who I am. I'll fucking wrath you myself, bitch tits. Suck it down. Bitch. <laughs> In inquisit my motherfucking ass. My frock is better than your frock. You cannot deny this. I fucking killed a goddamn cloud child. You think I could not defeat the fucking motherfucking Inquisition, bitch? Suck it. Well, you've been well trained in combat. Good job, guys. Way to go. Well done. Guess what? We were well trained, too. That's right, the chuckle fucks. Oh, God, what have we done? Don't you worry, these two aren't debtors. There's breath in them yet. We can find some space to put them up to recover and pay for it with the coin in their pockets. <laughs> We're a town that's good at keeping quiet. There'll be no word from here until these two are fit to walk in a few days' time. You have that much assurance from us. 
Thank you kindly, sir. I don't know where a few days' time will find us, but given our travels in the past week, I expect it will be far from here. Try to cheer up, Mauritius. You look almost as white as the snow. We did what we had to do. There's some things that can't be left to God. We, if we fail to stop the war, I expect there won't be much of a church left to pursue you anyway. Yes, Charlotte. Fantastic. Now I lose no matter what happens. I can never go back. Lord, forgive me. I'm trying to find the path, but the way is so unclear. I can only follow my heart now. So, let's go ahead and save. Just in case. We leveled up. I don't even care. Sweet! Thank you for your shit, Inquisition! The Inquisition. Let's begin the Inquisition. A lookout sin. Aw, oh, man, I just bought that too? You bastards, I didn't know there was gonna be a boss fight. Oh, Wrath plus 50 is pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep the health thing, though. Health minus... What the f... <laughs> no. <laughs> All of my no. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, man. And this one deals so much less damage. I think I'll go ahead and keep that base damage thing. Yeah. Yeah. My fucking precious is goddamn right, motherfuckers. Southern Ascent. Here we go. Feels like we came from mountains not too long ago. I'm just saying, guys. We have more fucking snowflakes that shoot rainbows up here? Not so much. A blunderbuss that is most certainly not a gun. And, uh... That. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's that. Okay. Go ahead and cast Marora on us. Fucking fuck it up with Flashbang. And let's go ahead and... Throw some Ds on that bitch. Okay, let us condemn this bastard to hell. Holy shit. Blunder. You fuck it. What? Oh, you bastard. You froze me. Oh, dude, we need to have a fucking talk. That's some bullshit right there. That was some bullshit. You are fucking dead, motherfucker. Don't you heal him. Oh, You get your fucking candy ass back here, motherfucker. You're not escaping from me that easily. Time of your fucking is now. I'm about to fuck you up. You're dead. True story. Here we go. Wrath. Told you. Lol, noobs. We. I recognize this bridge. It's almost like I've been here before. We. Oh. Chill splinters? Did the old man have something to say that I missed? He probably did. These things, whenever they die, probably break apart and fucking rip you to pieces. Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Alright. What? Oh, shit! 
Dude. Aww. Cheats. What the hell? Oh, this is gonna be annoying as fuck. So it appears you specialize in being a dick. Oh, god damn it. Fucking seriously? They're gonna pull this shit? Fine, you know what? Fuck you, assholes. Kill this thing. No fucking barrel rolls. There we go. Whew. You think I'm going to do? <laughs> um, okay. I probably didn't do. Alright. Flashbang, and... Let's just bless. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to be a block of ice, mommy! I know, I'm kind of worried by the fact that there's so many of these things. They might, like, freeze multiple targets and piss me off in the fucking process. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fucking die. Quit healing, you little shit. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't be scared. Yeah, that's right, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. I'm equal level to you, bitches. I got your fucking numbers. I have all of your numbers. Alright. You're fucked. Time of your fucking. It is approaching. You realize this to be true, do you not? Go ahead and straight up condemn, and uh, let's use your good old friend Powdered M. It's been a while since we, uh, but a while since we used them, huh? Yeah, that's a good friend of ours. We've neglected for a while.
Quit putting out my fire, bro! That's rude shit, man. Oh, he was fucking immune? That ain't good. Fucking snow monkeys! You're right, Legato! Fuck their couch! Fuck your snow monkey couches! Oh shit, he's healing himself! I just now noticed this. <laughs> list of... The list of things I should have been fucking paying attention to. Totally got. Quit doing that shit! Healing yourself is rude! It's bad manners! You don't have bad manners, do you? Stop that! Stop your shit! It's you and me, Chill Splinter. You and me. Stop what you fucking do. Yay, it's another bridge. And we're done. The bitten breeding fields. That that sounds great. <laughs> That's a great name. That's a fucking great name. Oh, hey, it's a save point. All right, everyone. I think it's time for another timeout so I can get something else to drink. Everybody take five or ten or however long fuck it takes me to get back. Burb LOLs.